part three and on our basic survival gear series or the five C's. Today we're going to talk about cover. So let's get started. What's up YouTube? PA Outdoors here. Today we're going to continue our series on the, uh, the, the five C's, basic survival gear, and it's going to be cover. Um, I kind of separate cover into two categories. There's going to be, you know, just cover, and then there's going to be something more like shelter. So we're going to start off with cover. The emergency space blanket. Cheapest option. You pick these up a couple bucks at Walmart, dollar stores, I think. You find them in a lot of cheap um, first aid kits um, used for you know wrapping someone up who's in shock. Um, they they work. You know, people a lot of people dismiss them, but they do work. They are extremely thin. I would consider these kind of a, a one-use item. You use it unless you're extremely careful. You use it, and when you're done. You toss it and you buy another one. Basically the idea is you're a great big baked potato. You wrap yourself up in this thing, get all huddled up in it, and the, the reflective nature of it will reflect your body heat back at you. Um, so that, that, that warm air, that, you're, that the heat that you're producing, your body produces, isn't just escaping out in the atmosphere, it's being redirected back at you to help keep you warm. Um, again, you know, very thin, these things puncture very easily. Um, I've heard people say you can make a shelter out of these. I've never had any luck. They just tear entirely too easily. Um, so that's that. Now, a step up is the SOL Heat Sheets Emergency Blanket. Um, these come in one person or they also come in a larger size, which they say is you know, large enough for two people to wrap up in. Um, now I haven't opened this one, but the idea is, is that it's reflective on the inside, just like the cheap space blanket. It's orange on the outside, um, which obviously is going to be for signal, going to help, um, going to help people find you that are maybe out looking for you. And this is much more durable than this. This will actually stretch. You can kind of give this a tug and pull it. It stretches. It doesn't rip. Um, it will puncture. It will get some holes. Um, but it's much stronger and more durable than this. This is a multi-use item. This, you can use it um, and then go through the frustration of folding it all back up to get it back in the package, but I've done it on a couple of other ones. Um, it can be done. So I think this, you know, if, if, if you're looking at one of these, this being like $2, this being like $4, you know, it's double the price, but it's 10 times the quality of this, just the aspect of it being reusable. Um, it's not going to tear right out of the gate. Um, and I have made shelters out of this. Um, you know, a lean to shelter, you get yourself some, you know, like a button rock, wrap the rock in the corners, um, kind of like a tie out. And uh, that, that, you know, that, that works with these. Uh, I've seen it done, I've done it. So if, you're, if your budget says, I got $5 for shelter, get one of these versus even buying two of these for the same price. I would just get this one or for, you know, a couple dollars more to get the two person one. It's bigger. This one is 56 by 84. I don't remember the exact um, size of the two person one, but I know it is larger. Um, they even give a couple of pictures on here of, of the different ways you can use it, um, you know, to cover up someone first aid, cover your gear, shelter, um, even a ground tarp. Um, don't know if I'd use this as a ground tarp, especially if you're in an area that has a lot of um, roots, stones, that sort of thing. 
probably not going to handle that rugged of use that well. But definitely a better option than just this. So now a step up is going to be bivy bags. Um, you know, the military bivy bag is just incredible. You lay out, lay out in that thing out in you know, the rain, the snow, and it's going to keep you protected. But more of an emergency option, I think, start with the, in this company SOL, Survive Outdoors Longer, they're a division of Adventure Medical Kits. You're going to see them in almost all the products I have here. I think they make the best emergency cover and shelter options out there. Um, this is their emergency bivy. It is basically the same material as the heat sheets, only it's a bag. It's you know, designed like a sleeping bag, so it is you know, orange on the outside, the reflective material on the inside, you can see that right there, there we go. Um, but this is, it's exactly what it is, it's a bivy bag. You climb inside of this and it works like a sleeping bag. The same process of keeping your body heat contained, reflecting it back at you, um, only it's in a bag. Um, so same materials, a blanket versus a bivy sack. Um, I've slept in these. They're, you know, they're not as noisy as this. They're a little noisy, um, but they'll keep you warm. You know, if you're talking 50 degrees, they'll keep you warm. And again, because of the material, it is completely reusable. So you can just roll it up and just uh, stick it back into its little bag here and save it for the next time. Now, the downfall. It's not breathable, so it's going to collect condensation. Uh, you're going to wake up in the morning or in the middle of the night and there's going to be some moisture inside of this bag. Um, you know, given the material it's made out of, it's just not breathable. But, you know, it does a great job for insulating or keeping heat in and um, keeping moisture out. So it is a great option. Now, a step up from that is the SOL Escape Bivy. Now this, obviously it's a much bigger package. It's completely different material. It is also reusable, but it's more of, and it's also, it also has a, a, you know, a silver inner lining. It's not going to be, it's not going to reflect as much heat as the emergency bivy does, but it will reflect heat. Now the big advantage of this is, this one, this one is breathable. Uh, you won't get the moisture condensation inside. Um, it is waterproof, but it's breathable. It'll let the, the let the moisture evaporate out of the the membrane, which um, I don't know. Have you ever? It's 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 similar to house wrap that that Tyvek that you see on new house new housing construction. Um, that's about the closest I would consider this you know comparable this material to. It, it feels very similar. It's not quite as brittle or crispy, but it, it's a very similar material to Tyvek, I think, um, which is breathable, so that, that might be the reason it's, it's, it's a similar similar material. So this one's in the neighborhood of like $12 or $15. This one's in the neighborhood of $35, um, but it is definitely an upgrade. It takes up more space, obviously, but it's an upgrade. It's breathable. Um, the material is even more durable than this one. Um, this stuff is, you know, this is this is a bivy. This, you put your sleeping bag inside of this um, and use it strictly as a bivy. You can use it on its own. Um, again, it's not as much heat reflective properties as the emergency bivy, but uh, it will reflect the heat back at you uh, to keep you warm. Um, this is what I personally carry in my bug out bag. And, uh, yeah, I completely trust it. Uh, green, I think you can, get, you can also get it in orange. Um, so that's going to cover what I... That's going to cover cover. Um, the next things we're going to look at are what I consider more of shelter. Starting with 
another SOL product, the SOL Sport Utility Blanket. Um, there's also the Grabber Space Blanket. Um, UST makes one. I've seen at Walmart for like twelve or thirteen dollars. Um, it's it's nowhere near as nice as this product. Uh, the, the the UST one I've seen. Um, it's much flimsier. Um, I don't know how well I trust the grommets from being pulled out. This one, this is a tarp. This is the same type of material you know, your standard tarp is made out of, but it has this reflective coating on the inside. So it's orange on the outside, reflective coating on the inside, again, to reflect heat back at you. Uh, see the so well, they show the different options there: uh, shelter, ground tarp, gear cover, uh, again a rescue litter, signaling because it is orange. Uh, you can use it as a picnic blanket, carry loads, and again as an emergency blanket for um, you know someone who's in need, possibly going into shock. I have a couple of these. I have the grabber space blankets, which are again the, the, the exact same idea. It's it's a tarp with the aluminized uh, shiny lining on the inside. Um, and you can see they have a picture here. They have it set up as a lean-to shelter. Uh, just someone wrapped up in it, lying down on it as a ground cloth. Or they're carrying a stack of wood there. Um, so this is, you know, this, this, this is a great option just for an emergency lean-to shelter. You don't have to collect any natural materials to make it. You need a little bit of cordage. Um, you know, tie some knots. If you can't tie some knots, you get some of those figure nine carabiners. And uh, you can make a really nice shelter with something like this. Um, I've got a couple pics of one I set up in the, in the backyard. I'll, I'll put those up in this video. Hopefully once summer's over and things get life gets a little back to normal, I'll be able to get outdoors and get some more outdoors filming done. So that's that option. Now on a cheaper note, just buy yourself a tarp. Uh, this one I think came from Walmart. You can get tarps from Harbor Freight for just a couple bucks. I think you can get a five by seven tarp from Harbor Freight Tools for less than five dollars. Um, but I mean, realistically, other than this being eight by ten, and this one, I believe this one is five by seven. I don't see it written on here, anyways. But when I had it out, um, actually, it was probably on the top, and I ripped it off. When I had it out, it's about a five by seven tarp. So the difference is, is this one has that silver aluminized inner um, inside to reflect heat back at you. Your standard tarp you're going to get at Walmart or Harbor Freight won't have that. Uh, this is just this one's just brown and silver. Um, but as far as you know, constructing a shelter, um, you know, anything that you can do with this one, any kind of any kind of um, shelter you can build with this, you can build with just a standard tarp. Uh, again, this one's eight by ten, but you can get five by seven tarps, which is the same size as, as this one here. And then above and beyond that, um, kind of getting out of more of the emergency survival realm. But um, obviously, there's you know hammocks. Um, there's tents um, in, the, in, in the cover realm. There's, there's obviously sleeping bags, um, more expensive bivvies. Um, I've seen a, a, I don't know how well you can carry it around, but I've seen a cot that has a tent built right on top of the cot. That's a pretty neat setup, but again, not real practical for you know, any sort of bug out bag or emergency bag. Um, you know, in, in that, in, in, in something you put in a bag and just use for emergency purposes, you know, I would say with something like, like this, or just get yourself a 5 by 7 tarp at Walmart or wherever. Uh, hammocks, I've never done any hammock camping at all. Uh, I have no experience with the hammocks. I know they're pretty popular. Uh, you, know, you, you put your hammock up, you run a sill nylon tarp over the top as rain cover. Um, I don't have that here, but that's definitely a great option, and some of those pack really, really small, you know, it's about this size, so a hammock is something you can easily put inside of a pack. Uh, you just have to get the, the you know, the, the, the lines and straps to hang it, which I think are separate. Uh, but that's, that's going to cover, cover, and like, like I said, I, I kind of, you know, this, 
this is shelter. These would be more of your, your cover options right here. So that's going to do it. I appreciate you watching. Please remember to comment, like, share. Please subscribe to my channel. This is PA Outdoors saying get out, have fun, but be safe out there. Thanks for watching.